morning. I am here with Brian and it is July 8th and we are on the Denny Creek Malakwa Lake Trail and we are going on our second backpacking expedition of the year and hopefully this will be our first successful backpacking trip. Um, Baker Lake was interesting but we were not able to stay overnight so we are going up to Malakwa Lake and we have clouds now but it's supposed to burn off and get sunny so this should be beautiful. There are campsites right along the lakes, absolutely gorgeous. And um, there's still some snow, but this is supposed to be a beautiful trail. We're gonna be passing over some creeks, seeing some waterfalls, and it's 8.5 miles round trip with about 2,300 feet of gain. But start to the summer backpacking season. I forgot to mention a few things about Malakwa Lake. It is a beautiful alpine lake uh, right up here in Snoqualmie Pass. And uh, our plan is to do one night. So we're just doing a overnight here, but there's a lot to explore up in the basin and it's gonna be, it's gonna be really pretty. There are actually two lakes. There's Malakwa Lake and Upper Malakwa. And, uh, we're coming up here on another uh, interesting feature here on the trail uh, shortly, which is pretty cool, so. water slide and you can probably see why it's called that. Uh, we have to cross, so we have to go across because the trail continues up that way. We're gonna get across, but this is also our first break point, so we're gonna check out the water slide. Uh, but first we gotta get across, hopefully without getting wet feet. into an awesome water slide and some people come here just for this feature where the creek has curved out this awesome uh, water slide a lot of people like to come here uh, on sunny days and I may or may not go down the water slide tomorrow on our way out because it's only a mile from the trailhead but not right now it's too cold right now but uh, maybe tomorrow it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow <laughs> Well, we just left the Denny Creek slide. Um, we are 1.6 miles in, about uh, 600 feet of gain in. We are continuing on up this trail and it is looking nice. The sun is burning off the clouds. So I think by the time we get to the lake, we'll have some nice views.
Behind me is the second interesting thing along this trail. This is Kikwili Falls. I'll put the name down in the video because I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is way bigger than it looked in the in the pictures I've seen. This is a beautiful waterfall. So we just did uh, nine or 10 really tight switchbacks. How do you feel about it? How mm. do you feel about those? Not too bad? No, not too bad. No? Yeah, they're pretty, you know, gentle, but I mean, that was probably the biggest climb so far on the trail. We are excited to get to the lake because, you know, backpacking is part work and then, you know, this is also vacation. <laughs> it's supposed to be, relaxing next to a beautiful alpine lake. That's the goal this weekend. The trail continues up here and we need to get over that and then um then we'll be really close to malakwa lake it's in the basin just over that so we're almost there <sighs> this alpine meadow is so pretty some of the flowers have started blooming and oh man there's some really pretty trilliums here Well, we made it to Malakwa Lake and the sun is starting to come out and it's beautiful and we're making our way around the lake now. We have to go find a camping spot and then we get to have lunch, which Brian's excited for lunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you think of the, what did you think of the hike in? Oh, it was good. Tiring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you excited for lunch? Yes. I'm yes. <laughs> Uh, but this is beautiful and it's way more melted out than I thought. Um, the last uh, trip report was not super recent, so oh man, this is gorgeous. So this is camp. We have this beautiful little tarn behind us and then Malakwa. Uh, we're right between uh, lower and upper Malakwa lakes for this, this campsite. So we have our, where our tent's gonna go. Brian's getting a sandwich. 
And then beautiful Malacqua over here. And this is kind of away from other campsites, so we'll have some nice privacy. But now it is time for lunch. And then I'm gonna consider whether or not I'm gonna go climb a mountain. <laughs> this camp is absolutely beautiful. And now we get to just enjoy things. However, I am going to make an attempt at Kaliton. So I'm gonna come back around the lake and do Kaliton Peak. It looks like it's burning off and I'm gonna attempt that climb. That is gonna be a separate like mini episode video, uh, separate from the main like backpacking saga, but oh my gosh, I cannot get how be get over how beautiful this little tarn is. I think oh, yeah. um I think it's very easy to forget and I do this too that when backpacking it's harder just because you're carrying like 35 to 40 pounds on your back and that makes it much harder like it took us three hours to get here I probably if I'd had my day pack it would have taken like half that and I'm pretty sure for Brian that would have been the same it makes things a lot harder which is why we're doing this we gotta gotta train and also to enjoy this beautiful beautiful lake so I made it back. Welcome back. I did not summit, so I'll show you what I did. I went, I was up on that, so that one, those two little peaks, mm -hmm. and then decided against continuing the uh, the traverse. Um, that That's its own little mini episode in this uh, backpacking adventure, but now that I'm back, we get to eat the snacks and the Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Um, and then we actually have to set up camp, so gonna get going on that soon. But first, Pop-Tart, because I'm starving. <laughs> There's a frog right here. So we've seen these these frogs in the little tarn by our camp, and uh, we found one clutch of eggs over over in one spot. But it seems that this is where they are planning to take care of all their temples. Okay, well now that camp is set up, I can give you the full tour. Uh, so once again, this amazing place is our site. Um, so we've got this beautiful tarn here and it flows down into Malacqua just down there. And then obviously we're looking up the valley up at uh, Malacqua Pass and Kaliton Peak. And way up there is where I scrambled to earlier. And then we've got a snowbank and a boulder field. And then this is the camp area. Um, we've got good rocks for sitting. We've got the tech station and the food and everything. There's Brian's pack, but here's the tent. We've got it set up again. And uh, here's what it's looking like. Um, we just, we just got the sleeping pads. Yeah, we just got the sleeping pads blown up and stuff. It's gonna be cozy tonight, so now, huh, for the rest of the evening, we get to relax. <laughs> and then we're gonna do more exploring on the way out tomorrow morning. I imagine we are going to be getting an early start to our day, just because, um, the second it gets light, I doubt either of us are gonna be able to sleep. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just gonna 
chill until dinner time. Brian brought Wheel of Time to read, which he may very well finish I before so. before we leave. He's There's on page eight hundred and four. Another hundred and fifty pages. I, I don't know. You read anything. pretty fast. I feel I like don't you're. Think I, I read that fast. I don't know. You read. I think you read faster than I do. You you go through books pretty quickly. I don't know. I was 250 pages left when you went up, when you started on your yes. little excursion, and I've gone, like, maybe 100 pages, maybe 50. That's pretty fast. I'm pretty sure that's faster than I read. And I review books. <laughs> so. But it's not about how fast you read. <laughs> so I am painting now I'm working on I'm just literally painting the scene from our campsite I mean I love all the layers like for from a landscape artist's perspective this is really fantastic and I'm so glad like you can see all of Kaliton it's such a a cool mountain so yeah getting getting some things down on paper I have my little watercolor ultralight watercolor set up although I understand most ultralighters most ultra light backpackers would just about have a heart attack that I even brought something unnecessary for survival, but <laughs> it's necessary for my fun. Okay, so I think I got a good start on my painting, but um, we're losing light and it is getting chilly, so I think we're gonna start dinner here soon and I will pick this back up in the morning, but this has been so much fun. This is the best campsite. It is around 6 p.m. So we are gonna have our dinner and then get in the tent because it, it is getting cold. Um, but for dinner, what we have is uh, homemade chicken nuggets and french fries and then for dessert, chocolate. Um, Going stoveless, uh, partially because um, I don't want the extra weight, uh, and also I wanted to like do fresh food, and also I can't be bothered. <laughs> that's that's really the main reason I just can't be bothered with the dehydrated, rehydrating stove stuff. Um, but yes, so we're gonna eat real quick and then hang the food and then go and snuggle up in our sleeping bags. <laughs> Um, 7.30 and we are in the tent probably for the night. We're just getting out and go to the bathroom and stuff because uh, it's getting cold and we are tired because we've been up since uh, 5.30 this morning getting getting ready. Um, and I will say uh, we definitely did come to appreciate that Malakwa Lake is uh, aptly named. Uh, Malakwa means mosquito in um, one of the local tribe's original languages. I'll put which tribe in the video. Um, and it means mosquito. And yeah, the mosquitoes came out once it started getting around 6 p.m. Um, yeah, there's there's not a, just, there's one. Little oh, guy. Yes, so. We don't want to get eaten by the mosquitoes either, so we are just going to be in here and snuggling and probably going to bed early. <laughs> um, but yes, now it's now it is chaos in the tent. Sunset. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Okay, I just saw a beautiful sunset um, behind Kaliton. So uh, this concludes day one of our Malakwa Lake. 
backpacking adventure and this is going to conclude episode one because this is too much footage to fit into one video. So uh, tune in next time for episode two where we uh, go and explore a little bit more of the basin and then hike on out of here and uh, I will try my best to go down the Denny Creek water slide <laughs> on the way out. <laughs> Are you going to go down the water slide? No. no? Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so far we are all, all toasty. Um, it's going to get cold tonight, like high 30s, 40s, but um, we've got nice toasty sleeping bags and everything, so we're all ready for, for bed. Yes, ready for bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Here are my favorite pictures from today's hike and adventure. Um, enjoy. Yeah, I'm tired. Too.